All right, day 98. 98 consecutive days of walking at least one mile. I'll put the camera on, we'll get going. All right. We're in a little bit different part of the neighborhood today. I don't think I've, uh, I don't know if I've ever even driven over here. Maybe, maybe once, not sure. But we'll go see what's going on over here. Still in Redondo. Kind of up on, similar to the hills and hill section of Manhattan Beach. The hills of Redondo. A purple Ford right there. All right. I'm going to walk up this street. Walk by this purple Ford. I'm working on it. All right, I think I'm going to walk up this hill first. Go see what's up here. It's like a big house. Yeah, guy had a pit bull. Well, let me start the timer. I almost forgot. Thank goodness. All right. Put in your guesses how far I'll go, how long it'll take. It's kind of a view right here from up here on the hills. I can't see the ocean, but I kind of have a nice view. That's kind of a big house there. It goes back. Four or five bedrooms. You know, this might be considered Manhattan. I'm not sure. I see a street sign on though, but I think it's technically still Redondo. All right. See what we see today. Always something. See what we can get into. Oh, that car had a it's taped together. A Maserati too. <laughs> Definitely different from the Maseratis. You think of a, think of a Maserati as a sports car. That's a four-door sedan. It's been in an accident. It's a nice little house here. Two bedroom, one bath. You got a Lexus in the driveway and nice big window there. It's nice. All right. There's a house with an aqua door. Look at that. People love the Ford, too. I don't know what color you'd call that. Blue-gray? The big Ford. Definitely gonna, I think it might have some views. The other side of these houses might have views of the ocean. I don't think so. Too far away. That's some, maybe look up in the roof, they might. Kind of modern houses, look like the same by the same builder. Interesting. Oh, you see something. I don't know what we're gonna see on these walks. Remember? Oh. I remember the street I parked on and just come back up the other side. See, well, I better go see. Never remember. I know this is Carter, but I don't know what the cross street is. Better look real quick. Now, Carter and Osmond. All right. The purple Jeep. All right, let's see what we see today. Always something. What did I see yesterday? Oh, yesterday. All kinds of stuff. Saw two 1987 El Caminos. Saw a dog named Rufus. I saw a, coyote, a Ford Coyote and a Ford Shelby. That was something. I did a walkthrough of a house that was 1.4 million. That was yesterday. That was all yesterday. And I got a big lemon. Look at those. Those are big lemons too. Look at those are the Ponderosa lemon tree again. Look at the size of that lemon. It's got a regular lemon yesterday, but unbeknownst to me, there's these trees that they call 
They make uh, bare Ponderosa lemons. They're like five pound lemons. Biggest lemons you've ever seen in your life. I'd never seen one before, ever. I didn't know what it was. Five pound lemon. I'd like to get one one day, but... There's a Rivian. So they make Rivian SUVs and Rivian trucks. I didn't even know what a Rivian was until about uh, six, eight weeks ago. And that's another Rivian. And I didn't know what a Ponderosa lemon was until about a month ago. A yellow Toyota, bright yellow. Can't be missed. I'm learning all kinds of things on these walks. There's a lemon tree with a whole bunch of lemons, but that's just a regular lemon tree. They're pretty big lemons. They're falling on the ground and all kinds of stuff. Kind of cloudy today, not really cold. A little cool. It's definitely not as nice as yesterday. Look at that. There's a peak Vespa. I think that's a Vespa. Well, it looks like a Vespa. It says Venice on it. And I, I didn't know they made Ford Shelby's. And now I've seen a few of those. You know, learning all kinds of things on this walk, this channel. And they make a Ford Coyote, which also looks like a Mustang and similar to a Shelby. And they make a Ford Saline, which also looks like a Mustang. I don't know, what's this car? I have no idea. Is it some kind of a Chrysler? Looks like a, no, I don't know what it is. And I'm not going to find out either. It doesn't look recognizable to me. I don't know what that car is. Let me know if you know. <laughs> Two dogs and a dog up top, Sparky. Uh, I think he just wants to see the dogs. Yeah, these houses are like built right on top of each other. Basically, 10 feet apart. Another lemon tree. Nice striped lemons. I guess they're just green turning yellow. Look at them. A lot of them are like that. What is this little car? This little green car. I don't know. Is it a Fiat? Uh. <laughs> Man, I got a lot of dogs barking. Little Fiat. Oh, that's a little car too. I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna find out either. A little MG or something. Can't really tell. Some kind of a foreign car. It's too little to be American. I don't know what it is. There's some type of Orange Goldenrod Alpha. Oh, what color do you call that? Goldenrod? I'm sure they have a specific name that they call it. All right. The little Fiat was interesting. I saw two barking dogs, two walking dogs. Well, actually, I didn't see the second barking dog. I just heard it. So technically, one barking dog, two walking dogs. One pit bull guarding the purple Ford. All right, go up. Go up this street and see what we see. Oh, no. Back to walking up and down hills again. Hey, I need to go the other way. No, I've, I think I've driven, I don't know if I've even driven on these streets. I've driven by them a million times. But I never, I never walked on them. 
I don't think. Maybe I've run before on them. See if we see any muscle cars today. I haven't seen any. Guess I better put the over and a half really low. Two and a half. Maybe over two and a half or under two and a half. A red Ford Bronco. It's a very cherry red. People love the Broncos. A very red cherry Bronco. Goodness. Tesla's one, two, three. And I'm not counting them anymore. It's too many. Count the muscle cars. Like I said, I put it at. Did I say two and a half? I don't think I'm going to see that many today. Nice houses on the streets, but and they are right on top of each other. There's a mirrored garage door. I saw a couple of those in Manhattan Beach. You don't see those too often. That first one I saw, I was like shocked. I'd never seen one before. Now I've seen, saw another one. Now I've seen that one. I guess that's the third one. See, it looks really clean. I mean, to be mirrored to have some type of plexiglass or something the other one was more of a the other, was more of a mirrored that one was kind of mirrored here's another one that's similar it's not mirrored but kind of more like a plexiglass somewhat reflective it's not a mirror though the same uh, panel what 16 panels all right, I saw yesterday where they can make, uh, they've come out with an invisible shield. You can, I guess, walk with it or, I don't know, you put it in your yard and reflect it, but it just reflects what the, uh, what is around you so you can stand behind it and it looks like the same, just looks like the same background that you're standing in front of. It doesn't, can't really tell that you're there get a look like about a five five by five square foot of it for only eight hundred dollars if you want to buy one and you know, walking up these hills again i gotta put a stop to this it's in manhattan beach uh said a week ago two weeks ago uh, so last week walked up and down hills eight eight ten times doing it right now see some vintage cars in here just seen the one yeah the Ford Jeep I get it looked like it's from the purple one right where I started it was early 70s or late 60s I guess I saw that Fiat that looked like from the 60s a dog started barking at me though look at this house Cape Codish with a stained glass window up there that's kind of cool kind of looks like a as you'd see on the strand somewhat. I mean, uh, see some of the Cape Cod architecture on the strand. All right. Another hill successfully navigated. Some kind of little motorcycle there. It's not a Vespa. I don't know what it is. Well, it's a Honda of some sort. And a Honda scooter. Goodness, guy's going down the kids go, oh no, he's gonna run that stop sign. Goodness gracious. No, he stopped, thank goodness. He was flying down that. Look at he's about 12 or 13 on a motor on an electric bike. So dangerous. Man, look at him fly. He's going over the speed limit. It's gotta be illegal. Those electric bikes are something else. Right. 
ไหมAnd what did I see? Uh, a Porsche. The three Lamborghinis were neon green, red, and yellow. One was a uh, never heard of it. I think it was a '69 M U I R T A Muretta. Muretta. Never heard of it before. But I think it was about three million dollars. And next to that was a uh, Lamborghini Countach. Next to that was a Lamborghini Diablo. You know, like million dollar cars, I think. Now that was two days ago, if you want to check that out. Always something interesting at that car, sh car shop. They work on cars. People send them cars all over the world, from all over the world. I think I've been down there uh, three, three times on this channel, maybe four, three or four. I got this little street, it's like an alley. It's a narrow little street. I've never been down here before. Uh, we'll walk down here for a minute and turn around. This could be interesting. It's kind of like an alley, but it must be a street. There are a lot of front doors to be an alley. You see some interesting cars or something. Then next to the uh, car shop, about a street over, is a trailer park. Believe that, I walked in that for a little bit. It looked like it was actually a pretty nice little trailer park. Uh, like 60 trailers or something. This is just like an alley. But like with, it has a name, Palm Lane. It's very quiet. I don't know where I want to go. So I'll walk up one more block here. Turn around. Never been down here before, that's for sure. Those are condos, I guess. Let's see what this car is covered up. Probably not going to be able to figure it out. Some kind of, it looked like a Mustang if I had to make a guess. But I don't think I'm going to really know, but it kind of looks like a Mustang. I see the little bitty front lights in the front. It is a Mustang. Ah, it says Mustang on the thing, on the license plate. It's funny, I could figure out it was a Mustang just from that. I mean, it kind of has a body of it. Yeah, I guess in 65, 66, just from how it looks. I'm not gonna, no, nope, just says Mustang on the back too. But I guess I'm not gonna find out what year it is, but it definitely looks like a 65, 67. It hasn't been moved in a while. But it is a Mustang. I could tell it was a Mustang just from the little Lights in the front. So I walk down that street and turn around. See anything overly interesting, but I have to look at this. Oh, it's like an 80s, I'd say. 
I don't know what it is. But since it's older than 40 years, 30 years at least, of 40s, what is it? It is a Concours. Never heard of it. Who makes it? It says antique Chevrolet. Uh, I guess it could be 70s, but probably 80s. Looks like a just a basic sedan of some sort. Never heard of it. Concours, Chevrolet Concours. I think it was around for too long. Kind of looks like a, a little bit like a Nova body. Oh, that's 70s. Look at the door handle. Okay, so that's 70s. Chevrolet Concours. Never heard of it. Must be late 70s. Not that exciting, but... I've never seen one before, and I've never heard of one before. Let me know! What year have you ever heard of it before? Alright, walk down here and head back. See if you see anything down this hill. At least it's not, oh, they got an old car in there. It's a Datsun Historical. I don't think the guys are out here to see it. Is it a Datsun? No. I don't know what it is. Triumph. GT6, I think it says. Interesting. He's not out. He's got his garage door open, but not around. Triumph. Oh, that's two. There's a, two Triumph cars in two days. One I saw at the uh, car shop looked like a one from the 60s. And that one looked like it was... Now, that might have been from the 60s as well. Couldn't tell too well. You go by these houses. Somebody's got their garage door open. A lot of times you'll see a vintage car of some sort. What are they advertising? Fiesta at Our Lady of Guadalupe. Next week. Oh, boy. Well, if you want to go. And they got a lemon tree. And another Tesla, and another Tesla, and another Tesla. You get a Tesla, and you get a Tesla, and you get a Tesla. Everybody gets a Tesla. Look at that. One, two, three. Three cars. Three out of three cars and three houses. They're all Teslas. See what this green thing is, yes, a pea green. A couple of nice houses right there. You know, blue tinting. They're kind of nice. Very beachy. Here's a couple of nice houses. Same builder, obviously. Houses look almost exactly alike. It's a pea green. It's a Kia, it says. Yep. Well, I read it. I didn't know it. I don't know these foreign cars. Hyundai, Kia, a bird. Another electric car of some sort. Scared him off. P green. All right. I'll cut up here and head back. It's an open house. I don't think I'm going in that house today though. Went in a house yesterday. 1.4 million for four bedrooms. I don't know where there's another Tesla. I don't know. Oh, he bottomed out. Look out. He bottomed out. And there's another Tesla. Not going up that hill. Not going up there. Uh, nah, I'm not going to go look at it. Not that far away, but I'm not going in it. I guess I'll walk by it. I don't want to go in it, though. There's another Ford Bronco. That's a white one gonna buy a Bronco. I don't think I'd buy a white one. White Ford Bronco every time somebody sees it. And another test. I'm gonna think OJ. Uh, blue one or green one or I don't know. I probably wouldn't buy green. 
I don't think I'd buy white. <laughs> Look at this house. Look at these houses. They're all like Victorianish, or these two at least. I got a red Jeep. I'm gorgeous, it says. Oh boy. It's interesting looking. Oh goodness. I guess I'll take a quick look if it's open. Oh, I don't think it's open. My door doesn't, it says open, but door's not open. Yeah, if the door was open, I was probably going in. Victorian. Yeah, I'm not going to open the door. It says open. Maybe it's this green one. No. I don't know. I don't know which one it is, to be honest. Let's see. Well, this door's not open either. Ah, forget it. I'm not going in. The door was open, I'd go in. Kind of a pink. John Mellencamp house. I got a RV. I guess they're planning a trip. I don't know where they're going. Maybe they just have one. We got a, a van that sits in front of my house 24 7 and they never go anywhere. All right, let's head back. It's this gray car. Is it gray? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now I haven't seen another Tesla, believe it or not, but it looks a little, nah, it looks about the same as all the other Teslas. Another day, another Tesla. Okay, take a look at this yellow Porsche. Looks like a Boxster. They seen like four dogs, five dogs, a couple barking dogs. There's a boxster. Yeah, that's a boxster. Yellow. I don't see too many yellow Porsches. So there's a yellow Bronco. Look at that thing. Orange, more orange. Here's some nice grass, fake grass. Love the fake grass. Say no, no doggy pooping. Is this fake? It's fake, but they got brown in it. Why would you buy some fake grass and put brown in it? Super weird. I want a green, green, green. Never have to mow it. And it always is green. That was, that was green and brown. Why on earth you get fake grass and Put brown in it. That's the last thing I'd want to do. I'm gonna make it look beautiful, not like half of it's dead. Maybe they got a deal on it. Maybe if you get some brown in there, you get it half price or something. I don't know. I wouldn't do it. It's an orange Ford Bronco. Look at that. All right, let's head back here. They got a sign on there, I couldn't quite read it, but it says, shh, sleeping baby and noisy dog. Please do not knock, <laughs> unless you're going to babysit. 
I mean, must have a lot of problems with people knocking and uh, waking up their little baby. And a noisy dog. They got a sleeping baby and a dog that likes to bark. Not a great combination. Look at this. Look at the front door right here. With basically no windows. And then... The garage is back here and the front's on the other side. It's kind of, kind of weird they have. They got a balcony on the other side. A balcony on this side and a balcony on the other side. And the front door is in the middle of the house. I see too many houses that have a front door in the middle. I don't know. It's kind of weird. They had a balcony on one end and a balcony on the other. And a front door in the middle. I guess you'd call it a middle door. I don't know what that car is. Not showing me a wheel or a light or nothing. Looks pretty long. I don't know what that is. Some type of vintage car. You can tell this pipe is rusted. It's got a bunch of, a little bit of a metal. I guess it's from the 60s if I had to make a guess. Alright, where's the car? I think I missed my street. No. Must be up here. All right. Getting a little hot. I think I'm up here. There's a, a Rivian truck. Saw a Rivian SUV a minute ago. Now there's forest green Rivian truck. It's kind of a big house there. It's nice. It's like a goldenrod house color. All right, where's the car? street down there oh no I'm not walking all the way down there no I turned around figure out where the car is again these streets are they're not uh, all parallel you get turned around I twist and turn and don't know where I'm at. All right. Now look at all these wild the daisies. I don't know. Dandelions. I think they're just dandelions. Yep. Still kind of look nice. <laughs> daisies or no, there's some kind of daisy. I thought they were dandelions. Some type of daisy. Goodness, another kids on electric bike with no helmets. Running stop signs. Ugh. Super dangerous. Getting kind of windy. I figure out where I'm parked. Carter. It's like Carter and Heron, I believe. Ah, goodness. Well, I don't know which way. I'm all turned around now. Goodness, I got to start remembering where I parked. 